In Color is a hit for country artist Jamie Johnson, who co-wrote the song along with Lee Thomas Miller and James Otto. I was really thrilled to get a bunch of requests in for this song, because Jamie Johnson's last couple albums have been some of my favorites, and he hardly gets any love on the radio. So we're going to have some fun learning this one. Uh, it's in the key of B flat, so we're going to capo up to the third fret on the acoustic guitar and use key of G chords. During some of the softer sections, we're going to learn a fun picking pattern. Uh, lead guitar players have their work cut out for them with three lead guitar solos and a number of tasteful verse riffs. We're going to start out by learning the main chord progression and strum pattern that happens throughout the song because uh, if you don't want to mess around with learning the intro riff and then the kind of picking pattern that we're going to learn over the softer sections, you don't need to. You can just play this strumming pattern and chord progression over the entire thing if you'd like. Uh, so we'll learn this, then we'll learn the bridge, uh, and then we'll learn the intro riff and the picking pattern. So let's start by learning the chords we're going to need. We're going to start playing a G chord this way. And so to do that we've got our ring finger, third fret of low E, capo's on the third fret, and so the ring finger's three frets above the capo, and then we're going to also be muting the A string, and then we've got open D string, open G string, open B string, and we've got our pinky on this high E string. It'll make sense why we play it like that as we learn these other chords. The next chord is this F2 or F add 9. And as you can see, we don't have to move our pinky at all. So now we've got our third finger, our ring finger, on the third fret of the D string. We've got an open G string, pointer fingers on the first fret of B, and then the pinky third fret of high E. So that transition is very easy. And then we're going to play a C chord like this. And again, the pinky stays right strokes. It's down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Up, down, 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 up, 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 up, down, down, down. Intro. One, two, three, go. Here's verse three. One, two, three, go. Alright, in this tutorial we're going to go over all the lead guitar work except for the solos, uh, which we'll do in the next tutorial. So pull up the tabs right underneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com. We're going to go through in order of the tabs. 
Uh, and to start, let's quick talk about tone. I've got my pickup selector all the way up to the neck pickup. Uh, it's really more of a bluesy tone, except for the solos. Not too much gain, just a, a medium amount of gain, uh, just to get a nice little uh, sustain going. So let's start with this first intro riff. It looks like this. Pretty easy. We're in the key of B flat here. We've got a ring finger. I'm not using a capo on the lead guitar. We're gonna start on the third fret of D, slide it up and back down, just one pick. All right, next thing we need to do is the uh, intro to the second verse. When the drums kind of kick in there, we're gonna do a downstroke on this B flat triad. So it's just pointer finger on the third fret of D, G, and B. All right, we're gonna go over each solo in order. So let's start with lead solo one. Here's what it looks like. One, two, three, four, one, two. So we're going to start here on the 5th fret with a bend, and then pick it while it's bent, back down, pull off the 3, and then two more bends on the 5th fret of G there. And then we're going to kind of leave it. Solo 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. 